let's take a look at this problem. We got the integral of um, 3 e to the 0.5 t power minus 7 t to the negative 1 dt. I can split these up into separate integrals. So this would be the integral of 3e to the 0.5t dt minus, I take that 7 put it out in front, and this would be t to the negative 1 dt. Um, now this would be a u substitution. So I'm going to let u equal to 0.5t du, the derivative of uh, 0.5t is 0.5, and then we put on a dt. Well, this 3 doesn't belong in there, so I'll take it and throw it clear out in front. What we really need in there is 0.5, because that's what is in du. e to the 0.5t dt. Now, you can't just willy-nilly put a 0.5 in there. You have to offset it by putting the 1 over 0.5 out in front minus 7 and t to the negative 1 is 1 over t dt uh, 3 divided by 0.5 I think it's 6 but I'm not very good with decimals so 3 divided by 0.5 6 now I'm going to replace 0.5 t with u and I replace 0.5 dt with du so this becomes e to the u du minus 7, and the integral of 1 over t is the absolute or um, natural log of the absolute value of t. And my c it here at the end. The integral of e to the u is e to the u, and everything else carries down. And now we want to replace our u with what we identified up here. We said u is equal to 0.5t. So we're going to have 6e to the 0.5t minus 7, natural log of the absolute value of t, plus c. <clears throat> and uh, minus 7, absolute value, they got some parentheses there that's not necessary, and that will be your answer.